Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your BIOS on a Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite AX motherboard. Now, updating your BIOS can be inherently risky. However, there will be times where you'll need to actually update it, and that could be due to instability issues that need to be corrected, or more commonly, you're upgrading to a new uh, next-gen CPU that's not compatible with your motherboard unless you update the BIOS. So what you will need is a 128 gigabyte USB drive because we'll need to format this using FAT32 and FAT32 doesn't work on anything greater than eight gigabytes. As well, you'll wanna be doing this during a time where you can ensure that the power is gonna stay on at all times. So A, don't wanna do this during a storm and B, if you have little kids running around that might turn your uh, computer off, you don't wanna be doing that around them either. First thing, we're gonna insert the USB drive into the motherboard. And after that's done, we're gonna to go to File Explorer and find the USB drive, which is drive F, and we're gonna right click on this. We're gonna format it using FAT32, which is the default. Now it'll only take a couple of seconds to do. And for me, you can go to the uh, manufacturer's website. I find it pretty easy just to type in your motherboard uh, manufacturer and model name into Google. I find doing that this way is pretty easy to get straight to where I want to go. And I don't think I spelled gigabyte right. Here we go, X670 or Elite AX. Mine is specifically version one, so you want to make sure if there are any updated version of, versions of your motherboard, you pick the correct one. You have 1.3 and 1.1. Mine is 1.0. Then we're going to go to support, and this should be uh, pretty similar for any motherboard manufacturer. For support, this is going to be where you're going to find your manuals, your drivers, and everything like that. And we're going to go to BIOS, and from here, we're going to click the download button. And this opens up when we open it up from here. We're going to extract all. We'll extract this to the F drive. Again, not a very long process. After we're done extracting the files to the USB drive, and before we restart the PC, make sure you are inserting the USB drive into the correct USB port on the motherboard. It will be labeled BIOS. After you've done that, you can restart your PC. And as it's booting back up, you're gonna have to hit delete or F1, F2, F10, something like that to enter the BIOS. So something I ran into last time when I tried to update the BIOS is I needed to turn off XMP and PBO. When I tried to update the BIOS with those enabled, I kept getting a black screen and everything crashing. Thankfully, I was able to restart my PC and just boot back in normally. Uh, but I had to turn this off, uh, XMP and PBO, and after I did that, everything was fine. We will have to restart and do the same thing over again. Now that everything's disabled, we can go into QFlash. We're gonna click on Update BIOS. It's not showing here, so we're gonna click on the little down arrow. And this one, nope. And it's this one right here. So we are upgrading to F21. So I'm gonna click on that. And next, and it's gonna take a few minutes to update. Now we're gonna reboot, and this is when it will do the update. Just 
At this point, your system will reboot several times. You just need to wait for it to boot into Windows. At that point, you'll be good to go, and you can go back into your BIOS and enable XMP and PBO. OK, wow, this looks completely different. Q flash, there we are, F21. January 10th, 2024. So we get the latest BIOS update. So if we wanted to, we were able to um, run the 8000G series of uh, CPUs that AMD will be coming out with. Let's go back. We're going to turn PBO back on and XMP. We'll do XMP. And double click. And we'll save and exit. And that's it.